Hi, I'm George Pearson, and it's time again for a new Valentine's Day card done here inside of Adobe's Photoshop Elements program. Now, if you enjoy this video, make sure you click that like button and also share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, and to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training, and you'll find links for that in the description. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. This Photoshop Elements Valentine's Day card uses a background here, that's from Photoshop Elements, it uses a graphic in here for the heart, again that's from Photoshop Elements, and then some text. Now this text is a special text that I downloaded just for this one video. Let me bring that up for you here. It's called Porcelain and it's from the Defont.com website. Now there's the link, but I also have this link of course available in the description. So we have a specialty font here. Easy to install your fonts if you're not sure about that. Go ahead download this. Downloads as a zip file. Then right on the home page here for the font. Little quick information right there on how to install your fonts. Okay so once you have that font installed we can go ahead and make this card. Now when you install new fonts you'll have to make sure that your Elements is closed and then open it after you've installed the font so that the font will be recognized and show up in the font list. Okay, let's go ahead and start on this new project. I'll just close this one down. We'll be doing this in the default Photoshop Elements size. Let's go up here to File, New, Blank File. And then in our dialog box, let's make sure we're set at the default size right here. And that's 6 wide by 4 tall in inches with a resolution of 300. Just choose OK. So there's our basic file right there. Now in here, we'll start off with doing our graphic first. We'll then put the background in and then put the text on top. Now for the graphic, I want to size this to a specific size. So to do that, go up to the View menu, come down to New Guide, set this at Horizontal Guides, and then right here, we're going to type in 0.625. That puts a guide right there, kind of close to the top of the page, a little bit below a half inch. And then a second new guide here. And for the second guide, still horizontal, set this one at 3.375. That puts a guide right down there. So it kind of centers the page between those two guides, with a little more than a half inch on either side. Okay, now go over to the graphics. Here we are. Let the graphics open up on the right hand side and then make sure you're looking in the graphics section of the graphics panel right there. So the graphics and graphics. And then here we'll just scroll down and then there are a few Valentine's things in here. There's a heart right there for instance. Scroll down some more. We have some more hearts and stuff in here. And continue on down. On a few more things. Another heart right there but not the one that we want. And there we go. A few more hearts and this one right here of a heart outline. That's when you want to use. Now if you see the little blue triangle up here upper right hand corner, that means that this is still online and hasn't been downloaded into your system yet. So simply double click and it will then download. Now I've already downloaded mine of course so there we go. Let's now resize the heart. Grab a corner and pull up to the top line there. There we are. And bottom corner down to the bottom line. And choose OK. So there is the correct size for the heart. I'll now pull it over here just a bit. This over here someplace, and then let's give it a little rotation as well. Click on any of these control points, and that brings up the transform box down below, and set the angle at 15. There is our basic heart shape. I'll just pull it down just a little bit to that bottom line right there. Now grab one of the corners and just pull it in and bring that down until the top of the heart just reaches that top line. So there we go bottom of the heart at the bottom line, top of the heart at the top line, and somewhere around over in here. Leave a little bit of space on the right hand side. Okay, let's now put in some effects onto this heart. We can now switch over here to the Styles panel. There we go. I'll give it a second to load up the Styles panel. And in here we have a couple of different options. Wow Neon and Wow Plastic. Go to Wow Neon first and then choose this one right here. It's called Wow Neon Red Off. And that puts in kind of this 
little layer effect in here, a bit of a drop shadow, a little bit of a highlight happening in there. Let's now go down to the Wow Plastic and click on the red right there. And that adds a bit of a glow in here and a little bit of a, a background drop down shadow glow as well. That takes care of the basic layout now for the first heart. Now's a good time to add the background in. Let's go back over to graphics and then change the graphics to backgrounds. And as you can see, there's just a whole, whole bunch of these in here, all kinds of backgrounds in here. I'll just scroll down a ways. Here's a nice little red thing called carpet. That's one possibility, not the one that I used though. Scroll down some more. And right here, we have one called entwined. Also just kind of a, a brick red color. Click on that and that will then load that in as the new background. Give it a second, there we are. Now again, notice that these have a little blue triangle. That means that these are still online. I haven't downloaded those onto my computer yet. So the first time you use this, you'll see the blue triangle. You'll then see a downloading box pop up and it will then load into your background. Now, if it can't download, that means you're not online. So make sure that you are currently online in order to download this into your system. All of these things work that way. The first time you use it, it will be downloaded from the Adobe site. From then on, you'll have it stored on your computer. Okay, so there's the background. We can now go back to our layers and back up here to our heart layer. Let's take this, make a copy of this layer, just drag it up to the new layer button like that. There's our copy. I'll pull the copy underneath just to keep things straight. So there's the original and there's the copy underneath. Now on this underneath copy, we're going to rotate this one again. So click on any of these little icons, bring up the transform box and set the rotation to nine. Just a slight spin as you can see there. Choose OK and then grab that and pull it over a bit so that the points match or pretty close. You can adjust it if you want to with the arrow keys on your keyboard as well. So it's kind of like that. It's just the points are in the same spot then it's been rotated nine degrees in the background. All right, let's now go ahead and have some changes made on this to make it a bit more interesting. I'm going to make a copy of this layer again. Just drag it up here to the new layer button and hide the original. Now that's just a safety. This is just in case I don't like what I do up here. I can go back to that one and try again. So this one is just a safety at this point. Okay, so we're up here on this layer. I want to put some layer styles on this and to do that I need to rasterize or simplify this layer. So right on the name here, right click on the name and simplify layer. Do that two times. There's our first time and then do it a second time. Right click and simplify and that merges the effects into that graphic. Notice it also moved the background glow down a little bit as well. It's kind of an odd little thing in there about that, but that's fine. Okay, so now I have this simplified two times and we can then change our blend mode up here. Come down to color dodge, which is right in there. And this kind of brightens it up and dodges it back in a little bit. And then change the opacity on this to 50%. There we go. So it kind of comes in almost like a reflection almost of the foreground heart. So there we go. That takes care of the hearts. Now I want to adjust the background. It's kind of dark, kind of dull. I want it a lot brighter and more contrasty in here. So I'll do that with an adjustment layer. So I'll go down to the background, go up to layer, new adjustment layer and levels right there. You don't really need to check this, but I'll go ahead and do that anyway because we're on the background layer. So here's our levels control. Now to increase the contrast in here, we need to bring the blacks up. That darkens the darks parts down. We need to bring the lights up a lot. That lightens the whole image up. And then we need to balance out the midtones in here. So the numbers that I used on this are 50 on the black, one point one five for our midtones and one thirty eight for the highlights. It just really increases the contrast and brightness of that background, makes it a lot more interesting. And you can now see why I chose this particular background. It has this one kind of leafy thing here, which has this curve that mimics the curve of the heart. So you get the little repeat curve happening in there. Just kind of a lucky thing that particular background had that nice little 
repeating matching curve. Just absolutely perfect to match that size of the heart. Okay, that's all good. The background is now all done, and we can move on to the text. Now again, you need to download the porcelain type, porcelain font from defont.com and have that installed on your system before you start this project. You can then go ahead and do this. Now we'll change our colors here to white. Foreground background, put out the white as the foreground. What that will do is it should make the text color automatically white. Just makes it real easy here. I have mine set up porcelain regular, as you can see right there. Let's set the size to 70 point and letting at auto, that's fine. Left justified, color is white of course. We only have just the regular as an option. So type tool, porcelain regular, regular, 70 point, left justified, letting at auto, and of course white. All right, now that that's taken care of, let's move to the top layer up here, right there. And then click over here, any old place, doesn't matter where else, click right there. And then just type in Happy Valentine's Day. And choose OK. So there it is, there is the type. And just position it right down around here someplace so that the day is overlapping the right hand side and the Y here is coming in just a little bit into the heart there. So about there, it's kind of a nice position for that little bit of space on the left-hand side over here. Notice that this space, left-hand side on the text, kind of matches the text or the space on the right-hand side of the heart right there. So they're a, a close match. Not exact, but just a close match on those. Okay, so there's the text. The last thing we have left to do now is to put a layer style on this and put some glow or a glow effect in behind. So we're still on our type layer right there. Go up to Layer, Layer Style, Style Settings. Brings up our Style Settings dialog box. Want a couple of things on this one. Let's first do a Drop Shadow. Kind of hard to see the Drop Shadow on this, but it'll, it'll be in there adding just a little bit of an effect for us. So for the Drop Shadow, set the size at 5. Set the distance at 11. And then bring the opacity clear to the top up to 100%. So there's a drop shadow. You can kind of see the drop shadow happening in there. That's just a little subtle effect on that one. And then we also want to have a glow. So let's open the glow up. Click on glow. You want an outer glow. Change the color over here. Click on the little color spot. It should be white. Click on that. Just go to the upper left hand corner. Mix it a bright red. Choose OK. So there's a bright red glow. So on this, let's change the size up to 35 pixels and then bring the opacity clear to the top. And that puts a nice kind of a red glow in behind the lettering in there. And choose OK. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Let's now just enlarge this and see it a bit better. Now pull this up like that. Pull this out to, to really get in here a little bit larger. And let's zoom in a couple of clicks. There we are. And I'll hide those guidelines as well. So let's just hide the guides. Now that we're up this size, we can take a look at the effects. And I can see one thing I need to make a slight adjustment on. And that's our drop shadow. See how it's coming straight down from the letters? I want it over a little bit to the right-hand side so you see a bit of a drop shadow effect in here. So let's go back up to the Happy Valentine's Day type layer. Double-click where it says effects. Just double-click on that. And on the lighting angle at the top here, let's just change the lighting angle to oh, about 135 should be okay and choose okay. That just moves the shadow over to the right just a little bit. It's a very, very subtle thing, but it adds just a little bit in there on that. Okay, so there is the final text on this. But there you go. There is our Happy Valentine's Day card for 2018. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.